Hi guys, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm finally sharing to you my Smile Pro Eye Surgery which I'm so excited. Kailangan ko na din siyang matapos. So, if you're here, you're watching this, thank you. Um, I hope you give this video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So guys, I just did a Smile Pro eye surgery. This is my second time in the clinic because my mom had it first in December. Ako yung sumama sa kanya. So ngayon, siya na yung sumama sa akin and nag-assist. So, yan. We are in the family. Dalawa na kami na nag-subscribe no, sa products or services ng Lara Zabal Eye. And we could attest to the greatness of the services they provided so keep on watching to know more and uh, i hope this video will be super con comprehensive for you and if there were things na hindi ko pan masasagot in the future questions here feel free to comment down below and yeah let's just enjoy the vlog so ayun na nga guys ang daming questions and um queries about what happened during the surgery? What do you have to prepare? So, ayan, in my best capacity, I have tried filming this vlog and hoping for its release ASAP. And, yun, sana masagot ko yung mga tanong ninyo. So, first things first, I'd like to flash yung details about what the eye surgery I had was all about. So, I think I'm just gonna pause for a video and flash everything after my speech here para mabasa nyo at makita ninyo. And for more details, they have a website about the specific details and all. So, yeah. Now, where did I have this thing or saan ba ko pumunta para magkaroon nitong eye surgery na ito or magawa to? So, it's in Cebu City, Cebu Doctors University Hospital, care of Dr. Yong Potenciano Lara Zabal III. Siya yung, of course, CEO, may ari and all, and the doctor himself for this specific eye surgery. Wait lang, ang bangs ko. Char. So, dapat may bangs pa rin tayo, di ba? Hindi ko alam ba't So, yun. Um, it's in Cebu City. So, your next flight, if you're planning to do this eye surgery, will be to Cebu City. But, I have a good news. Somehow, kasi, nag-open na din sila ng new clinic nila sa Manila. Conrad, Manila. So, go to their website again para may details. And I'm I'm not sure if as of this time, September 8th, I open na siya. Kasi, the last time I heard is like line of 20s. So, correct me if I'm wrong. But, yes. They are now in Manila. But, the main... Um, clinic is in Cebu. So, next question is, why do you have to do that Smile Pro 
eye surgery para saan ba yan? Number one, so that I would already um, stop wearing my spectacles or my eyeglasses. I have a 700 grade vision. Napaka-struggle talaga siya. I would spend 10,000 to 15,000 for my eyeglasses. And if you total that in like a span of 5 years, it would somehow, ba, or 10 years, it would somehow be equivalent to that. And the same lifespan, lifetime yung effect ng Smile Pro, though mag-deteriorate mag din naman siya in time. But, you know, it's a matter of how you take good care of it. So, yun. That's basically it. To get your 2020 vision back. <laughs> so, personally, yun nga, sabi ko nga, pumunta tayo ng Cebu with my mom. I'm really grateful for her and to my parents, of course, and my siblings who were there after my surgery. So, they gave this to me as a birthday gift and um, I don't know how to really really char really repay that kind of kindness so to a child who is watching this always um, honor your parents that's what I'm going to tell you it has been good for a while probably because of the things you know you have to be grateful for so yun. Um, this was a gift and originally Ceb the Cebu trip was basically just a fun trip until one time my mom decided na baka pwede na akong magbook ng appointment and yun. So the appointment has to happen before Wednesday um, because yun talaga ang schedule ng clinic. So you have to adjust. Yun yung first tip ko aside sa mga iba-iba pang bagay na sasabihin ko dito. Wednesday ang surgery day or Saturday but preferably sa Wednesday kayo magpa-surgery. So definitely your appointment should be on a Monday or Tuesday. As for me, August 27, yon, A month before ako nagpabuk. So, ganun tayo ka-advance. Um, yeah, that's what happened. And luckily, I was able to get a slot. 10.30am yon in my previous vlog, sinabi ko. And yeah, 27, so we were ready. You saw it in my vlog then. And on that very day, malalaman mo kung qualified ka or hindi. So, sadly, if hindi ka qualified, wala ka talagang choice. But Doc Yong has the final say. So, you have to go over or go through assessment or test. Kaya nga siya screening day. Kasi si screen ka nga kung qualified ka. So, Tuesday. So, fast forward, pag qualified ka na with Doc Yong, you will meet him the first time. Grabe, na starstruck talaga ako. Plus, he is a runner. So, parang idol ko talaga na siya ngayon. <laughs> so, yan. And, ayun, um, the staff was super helpful. They explained to you everything, what you wanna do. Even the first part pa lang ng assessment, in-explain na ang difference ng LASIK and Smile Pro. So, mamili ka. Until, yun, punta ka kay Doc Yong, sasabihin niya, you're qualified. I was so happy that time na parang, ay, salamat, qualified ako. Alhamdulillah, ganyan. Because nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, I have a 700 I grade. So, parang for me, ano nga ba ang nangyari since grade 7 ako until nag-college and present? Daming pwede. So, thickness ng cornea mo, lahat-lahat. Gagawin talaga, i-delete yung pupils mo para makita talaga nila. So, it's not just, ay, 100 lang yung I grade ko, pwede na ako. Hindi ganon. There would really be tests and the final word will be from Doc Yong himself. So, yun, um, that was 27, qualified, so nagmoli nakita nyo sa vlog ko, ganyan-ganyan. Wala, super chill. Um, even sa Smile Pro pala, the next day, you can you can do swimming and all. Pero hindi ko pa yan ginagawa. I have not gone back to my workouts, my running, um, lahat on pause. Kaya rare din yung running, running post ko before August. Kasi I was protecting myself very much. So, yan. Sa screening, you'll also... Um, have forms to fill out. Nakita nyo yon sa vlog ko. Please do check that if hindi mo pa napanood para may pattern yung panonood mo dito. So, yun, the form, you have to be honest. They will ask you over again, over and over again para, syempre, sy I understand naman. It's for verification purposes. Even where you are affiliated. So, nilagay ko doon law student slash uh, college instructor ako. So, yan. So, qualified. Then, the next day, 3 o'clock p.m. yung call time ko. Hapon na talaga. You have the entire day to rest. We were also recommended to have at least 6 hours sleep. Pero girl, ginawa ko 12 hours talaga ako natulog. Para alam nyo yun, rested, lahat-lahat. And I even did, yun na somehow, nag-computer pa ako. So, wala. Normal lang talaga. Nothing of a, nothing of a serious thing to prepare for. Like, yung mga gallstone surgery, iba, ibang level to. So, wala ring, excuse me, wala ring, um, ano yung tinutusok kayo, tinuturo kayo, wala. 
only eye drops for the anesthesia as they as they um explained it to us so ayun and surgery day came parang until now nababangag ako at cloud nine pa talaga ako na those things happened for like a very quick moment in time so nakakagulat pa rin siya so kaya sabi ko sana organized din ako mag-explain sa inyo sa vlog and i think so far so good so after nga nung surgery at 3 o'clock the longest time that you'll wait for kasi is marami kayo yun yung reason but for the surgery itself there's a one, there's a question here gaano katagal um 9 seconds 9 seconds lang so 18 seconds tapos may follow up after check ni doc kung ano ba may sugat ganyan ganyan okay naman so for me um it was fun while inside the while inside the operating room ba yung tawag diyan um, kasi favorite songs ko yung tumutugtog so it's like for me this is a rebirth of of my life kasi imagine you get your vision back in how many seconds lang so Riptide by Vance Joy was played Music Travel Love was playing so parang sabi ko oh my god really for me na talaga tong moment na to and I think it's SOP also they call your name <clears throat> the condition that you have it when the surgery started I felt a tap from uh, or a tap on my shoulder sabi pa ni Doc yung hi I am Doc Lara Sabal we will start na Ano na daw? Oh my god, that's sabi ko yun. So, kaya nga siguro. Okay, ma'am K. For the first part, you will see a blinking green light. You just have to focus on that blinking green light. And when the machine touches your eye, try not to move for 9 seconds away. So, kaya nga siguro, it leads us to the next question. Is it painful? Uh, hindi po siya masakit. Um, ano lang, typical, yung mafeel mo lang na ginalaw, ginalaw yung ano mo, there would be a clip, ganun lang. But yung sinasabi yung pain, wala. Two hours after, or two hours after the surgery, ano, hapdi lang, natural naman, kasi mata yan, ba? But, you know, it's bearable for me. My pain tolerance is super high naman, Char. Even my patience is super high. <laughs> kaya siguro, kayang-kaya. So, kanya-kanyang um, post-surgery battles tayong meron. So, I cannot assure you that what I have experienced might be the same. But definitely, if you're going for Smile Pro, we will undergo the same process. So, yun. Um, masakit, hindi. Mahapdi, oo, after the surgery. But did it go away too soon? Yeah, it did. Nakakain nga ako. Nakakapag cellphone din ako pero malayo ganyan. So kasi nga para tayong newborn nga, newborn child talaga na parang cloudy lang siya. Yun. 
And that's it. And I took antibiotics. Sorry, sira-sira na yung box kasi ubus na din to. Hanggang sa maubos siya. Yeah. Then I w- we were given naman may mga handwritten notes talaga. So hindi ka malolos. Parang alam nila, they know what to do. Nakaka-amaze. So yon. What was my question? The next question is, what was the red eye mark in your um photo when you had uh, your first upload? Yun yung sabi. Um, it's nothing actually, but more like kung sa skin siya, parang pasa daw. Sabi nung, nung doctor, si Doc Aliza, hi po, shout, shout out. Um, parang pasa lang siya na siguro daw gumalaw ako or na-excite, yun lang. Well, who would not be excited, right? So, yan siya, uh, guys. You see, napakaliit na lang. Hinahat compress. So, when Doc yung had it the next day, for follow-up, sabi niya, okay, just, uh, it will go away. It's just a blood vessel that bursted. Grabe, super chill niya mag-explain. And, um, sabi niya pa, if you want it to heal, fa- to go away fast, put the hot compress. And, true enough, yan. Better na siya each, each day. So, one week plus na, as of this filming, and, true, true enough, wala na. Manawa, wala na siya. So, Yun, yun lang naman yung red mark. And then, why do you still wear glasses even if okay na yung vision mo? Um, it's not graded. This is actually the glasses. It's fashion slash anti-radiation glasses. So, yun lang. Just to prevent. Kasi syempre, my God, you cannot risk the amount you paid for. Tapos masisira lang just because you don't take good care of it. So, yun. That's basically What it. comes after the surgery? Meron bang gamot and all? Um, walang literally yung gamot na ititake mo. But painkillers, if you cannot tolerate the pain for the first few hours. And what comes after? Yun na, yung mga eye drops. Ito. Yung antibiotic for the first day lang. Hanggang sa maubos siya. One day lang ata ito ginamit ko or two, three days. Wala na. And then may kasama to, cool eyes. Um, I can't find the box but ubus na din. And then after that is this one, the Hylogel. Hylogel um, lubricating eye drops. So, ito yung ni-recommend nila. Sabi nila pag maubos, buy that. Blah, blah, blah. And lutein. Correct me if I'm wrong with the pronunciation but it's an eye vitamin. So, parang multivitamins natin sa katawan natin, meron na din for my eye. So, yun. I take that before I sleep. So, one once a day yun. Ito, um, 9, 6am, 9am, 12 noon, 3pm, 6pm. So, yun yung time na tinitake ko to. And lifetime na to. Kasi, um, not lubricating our eyes is a ground or a cause for, yun, nasisira yung mata natin. So, ngayon, it's 5 o'clock pm, in an hour, oops, mag eye drops ako. And then, next question, ano ang bawal gawin after the surgery? Um, wala. <laughs> wala, except for koan ano ba ikaw check yourself kasi sabi ni doc you can do gym you can do running you can do eye makeup lahat-lahat pwede na pero ako since i had facial that time 2 weeks akong bawal mag makeup kaya pag uwi ko wala talaga yun ako makeup even this one my lashes were removed again in preparation na talaga for this pero ngayon as of now hindi pa talaga ako nag overwork ng sarili ko wala lang parang feeling ko ano muna Dahan-dahan lang. Actually, even before the eye surgery, whether I was qualified or not, I was really preserving my energy, my time, yung mga dangers ba before. Kasi syempre, birthday ko din yun eh. So, yung dangers that would come with it, I was super careful. And thankfully, nag, nagbunga naman lahat. So, diba, sacrifice lang talaga siya. So, in time, probably in October, I'll be going back to the running arena and etc. So, you'll know when you see the post anyway. So, yan siya. Ganun lang. And, uh, walang restrictions after. Kaya maraming tao yung gusto ng Smile Pro. But sadly, because of the screening, not all can be. So, don't think na 100 lang, um, work at 1,000 na yung eye grade mo, hindi ka na pwede. Doc Yong has the last say. I have no right to say whether you're qualified or not. Go for that appointment and have yourself checked. So, another question is, magkano nga ba yung rate ng um, eye surgery na kinuha ko? Well, I may not be in the position to give the rates. I'm not the owner of that. But you can inquire through their email, which I'm going to post here, for the amount or price list of the different procedures that are um, that are done by the clinic. So, 
yun, napakaganda ng experience from the beginning up to the end. Wala akong masabi. Kasi ako mataas din ang standard ko when it comes to services. Like, I want quality. I want, um, I want, yung parang alam mo yun, you feel that you are cared for. So, char. So, yan. And uh, they gave you that. Well, they live up to their name naman, no? And the quality of the job. So, yun. And of course, hindi ko ata na-mention sa portions ng vlog. The doctor is Doc Yong Lara Zabal slash the owner na din. Lahat-lahat. So, um, his team really did a job that was so good and satisfying to us. So, yeah. So, ayun nga guys. After the eye surgery, things went back to normal. Though, we were advised that probably daw in a week or five days, meron pang cloudiness, adjustment, and true enough again, uh, nag-adjust. Imagine guys, 700 ako. So, di ba? So, nevertheless, I started wearing shades. I started wearing, um, yun na, anti-rad glasses. So, ngayon, parang cloud nine pa rin. But, um, I'm living up to it. And, thankful talaga ako to my parents for the birth for that birthday gift. And, it was a different kind of birthday. I don't know what next year will have for me, but it's all about gratefulness this season and thank you for being here and watching this vlog and it took some time kasi kailangan sit down vlog talaga sabi ko heart to heart talk as if you're talking to someone so ayun and Cebu has always been a great place talaga um, it was here na na learn ko na yun nga um, good news with the with work last year so yun everything was super nice so yeah Hi vlog! We're done! Thank you, Lara Zabal I and to my mother. Mas late ako natapos ngayon. Ay, gabi na nung ikaw may araw pa. Walking back. So yan, bongga nakablazer yung nagpaano. Akala mo may meeting. <laughs> 8, 8 o'clock. Hello vlog! It's the first time I am talking here sa vlog ko. The smile, smile, smile pro procedure is finally done and we're back at the hotel. It's been two hours since the procedure and so far hindi na mahapte but the first three hours kanina in the other portions of the vlog. Mahapdi yung mata ko. Hazy. Ngayon hazy pa rin. Hindi pa clear lahat. But rest assured, sabi nga nila um, it's going to be clear at a later time. So yun, di na ako mag eyeglasses. Can you believe it? Back to its original state. Grabe. So, pang ang boses kasi mahapdi nga kanina. So, just going to work on um, the eye drops and other antibiotics. Tapos, hindi pa ako nakapag-dinner. My last meal was 9am. Hindi din ako nagugutom. Siguro the excitement. So, overall, I'm grateful to my parents, to my mom. And yeah, so. More so, nag-wonder ako paano nang itsura ko without my glasses. When I'll be back to work and other activities. So, makapag only shades na ako hindi na hassle mag ano lesser expenses for the glasses kasi more or less 10 to 12,000 ako in 2 years or in in a year depende kung tumataas so, ba thankfully it's done so I really look like ano talaga ngayon like a patient but I'm grateful for it basta I'm still out of words wala ko masabi since parang nung mga days before Kahit nga vlog ko, hindi ko masa makwentuhan. Kasi hindi ko talaga alam anong sabihin. But now, my mom left to fetch my brother and my dad. Kasi sumunod nga sila. So, yeah. Dinner. First dinner.
the next day. No, I'm not done. This is the next day, and we're having breakfast. Follow up, Kumamaya, at 11 a.m. So that's it guys for this vlog, for this portion of the vlog. I hope you were able to get a clear picture of what happens before, during, and after the surgery. So, nakakatuwa na ma-share yung experience na to for people to know that these beautiful things exist in life. Though it comes with a price, but at least we are given ways to be inspired to know, to, to do better and hustle more for for to better ourselves so ayon i will see you on the next vlog thank you for watching